yo, it's Taya. So today is Tech Review Thursday and I want to be reviewing the Rockerbook Everlast. Um, I bought it almost one and a half years ago. It's probably the best purchase I've made. It also happens to be the last book I purchased and I've been using it daily for one and a half years and I'm going to tell you how and also why you might want to get it. So I like to refer to this book as my little red book and that's because it is absolutely sacred to me. Now this also happens to be the first time I started journaling and that's because it was so easy to do that and it's just been amazing because everything I've written I've been able to store and keep with me and as you're going to see you know while the functionality of this book is just amazing it takes it to another level it's eco-friendly it's super efficient and yeah it's the only book you're ever going to write on so how much better could it get? So you might be asking what exactly is a tech book? Um, I was quite confused too when I initially saw it, but basically it's just like any normal book. It's got pages which you can write on. You write on it the same way. The only difference is the QR code scanners and the app that comes, which can be used on any smartphone, whether it's Apple or Android or Windows OS, if that's still around. The beauty of this book is that you can keep erasing it after you've uh, maxed it out. Uh, for me, I erase it on a monthly basis. So I use this book to do my daily journaling and take down notes and any other activities that require me to write. Now, if you're someone who does not write down or take down notes and you think it's better to um, put it down on a PC or on Word, piece of advice I give you, try writing it down. There's just something about just penning it down on paper, which just makes things happen. And I remember my lecturer telling me this many years ago saying, you know, write it down rather than type it. You see an amazing difference. And I didn't listen to him for the longest time. I learned it the hard way. And when I did start to write, I started to understand what that meant. It's something a bit hard to, um, put into words. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, make sure you drop a comment and let me know. Writing it down just makes it extra special. And this is one way of writing it down and yet also having it digitally available wherever you are. So this rocker book has got 36 pages and they have two other variants as well. One being the smaller one, uh, which is like for memos and stuff, and then a slightly larger one. I chose this because it's a perfect size for me and I don't, I'm not taking notes for, you know, studies or anything like that. So it's just small notes that I take and because of that, this works perfect for me. So how it works is pretty simple. You write down the same way you would. The only difference is you need one of these pens. It's a friction pen by Pilot, freely available everywhere. I found it in the Philippines. I found it in Thailand. I found it in Sri Lanka. So I'm pretty certain you can find it wherever you go. And yeah, you just take down your notes the usual way. There are two ways of storing it online. I mean, one is you could take a scan of it immediately, or you could just let the notes accumulate till the end, until you're done filling it, and then do a batch scan and upload all of those once and for all. The beauty of this whole thing is that the app itself, which I'll get into, but once you're done, erasing it is easy. All you need to do is just take a damp cloth and you can just wipe it out over and that's pretty much it i've done this at least 16 times or maybe even more and you get a fresh book every time you do it now the really cool thing about this book is the app that comes with it so how it works is you have a little qr code here and at the bottom you will see you have this little legend where you can mark off as to where you want to uh, send your individual notes to and basically you take the app scan it over it's pretty effortless process and then you just hit send and if you have highlighted a field on your legend it will automatically send it there if not what it's going to do is it's going to ask you where you want to send it to while it scans and it is sending it it also transcribes it which basically if your handwriting is readable um, mine really isn't unless i make the effort um, what it does is it'll transcribe it and also send you a separate file um, with it in a text file. Now, this is amazing for those of you who have good handwriting and don't have the time to be converting all the notes you take down at meetings and just want it up straight away. 
hands down the best feature of it. I use it quite often, but it only works for me when my handwriting is good. The other really cool feature I like about it and I use really often is the fact that you can browse through all your notes. You have the search feature on your app, which you can just search for an individual word and it'll show you all the results for that. So I use this quite often when I'm trying to find a note that I've taken. No matter how long it's been in the past one and a half years, I'm always able to find it by just searching, which is just amazing. You basically index all your notes with zero effort. So you might be wondering whether it is a practical um, item to be using for your everyday use. And I can tell you as a person who journals daily, it is super practical. I use it every day and I only back up at the end of the month or unless I've written more in a particular month and need to erase it before that. Um, there are some who use it and take a scan immediately and erase it. That's also another way of doing it. Uh, I prefer to let it all accumulate and then batch them up for each month and upload them to my drives and then just erase them and use them all over again. It's super easy. It's the same feel of using a normal book and writing, which is what I really like. And then, as I said earlier, the ability to search through your notes is just a game changer. So you might be wondering how long would a book like this hold on for? And it's really amazing. If you look at it, um, it's been one and a half years and yes, the, the colors have kind of weathered, I would say. Um, but besides that, the pages remain the same. It's it's sort of like a laminated um, page. However, it still gives you that same writing feel when you write on it because the pen smooth, um, writes very smoothly on it. But yeah, it's held perfectly. And when I clean the book up, um, it's like a brand new book every single time. It's super therapeutic to clean the book as well. If you're into that kind of thing, I absolutely love it. The other thing I love most about this is the fact that you're able to upload your your minutes of whatever meetings that you go for immediately. So I've gone in for client meetings, uh, written it down then and there. And by the time I'm out of the office, I've already sent them uh, the minutes, which leaves them in just absolute awe. Um, I love it. The only thing is, like I said, you need to have good handwriting for the transcribing to work, for OCR to work. But even if you don't, you still have all of this stored in your cloud or whichever destination that you want to send it to. So when it comes to sharing these notes, you have quite a few options in terms of the places you could send it to. I primarily use it to email it to myself. Uh, you can send it as a message through via your phone and you can send it to apps such as Trello and Slack, which are pretty useful as well. I use Trello, so I send a lot of stuff over there. It's perfect. So you might also be wondering whether this book works for you. And having used it for one and a half years, I can tell you anyone can use this. It'll be super useful. If at all, the only time I might not have used it is if I was in school and I was taking down notes on the daily, uh, I usually run through maybe 15 to 20 pages. And on a book such as this, which is a total of 36 pages, uh, that means you need to clean your book daily. Now, some people do like doing that but I wouldn't have really enjoyed cleaning this book daily and scanning daily. So as a result, it wouldn't have been that practical for that. But if you're only going to be writing maybe two or three pages a day, then this is totally worth it because you're going to be able to back up everything and also be able to continuously reuse just one book. And for the final question, is it worth the price? I think this book was around $30 or $24 when I bought it. I'm going to leave a link down below. If you do want to get it, please do make sure you purchase it through there. It'll give me a kickback as well. Um, yes, it is so worth it. And not just because it's a cool tech gadget, but also because it is so eco-friendly. I have gone the entire year just using this one tiny book. Imagine how crazy that is. The benefits are nuts. First of all, I only need to carry one book on me at all times. Uh, secondly, I am not purchasing any other papers or books of the sorts. This has been my only purchase and I've been able to reuse this continuously. Thirdly, I don't need to be collecting books of all my previous notes and having it stored anywhere. 
everything is automatically in my drives and I have them accessible wherever I go. So you don't need to come back home to refer your notes. You can refer it on the move, which is a real game changer. And then lastly, it holds up really well. I was really surprised at the fact that I've been able to reuse this book for one and a half years and it still feels like new. Every time I clean it, it looks brand new. And yeah, I mean, it's a no brainer. Uh, if you are looking for something like this, I highly recommend the Rocker book. It's been one of those products that I absolutely love using every day. And like I said, it's so sacred to me now that I only write things that I am absolutely certain are going to manifest in my life as well. That's, it's kind of crazy, I know, but the things I've written down here and the things that have materialized for me have just been amazing. So this book is super special for me. And with that, we are done reviewing the Rocker Book Everlast. Um, highly recommend this one. I absolutely love it. I use it daily and um, I totally recommend it. I think I said that twice or thrice or maybe four times. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you did enjoy this, drop a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be reviewing more tech products every Thursday and I'll be doing my daily vlogs um, for as long as we are in isolation in quarantine and yeah i hope you guys have a great one see you guys in the next one peace